you're new to my YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button and remember to click the bell icon to get notifications of all my uploads throughout the week. Hey, good boy. Good boy. I was just going to say you changed your pictures. Put them all then. Yeah. Are right, you ready? Yeah. I'll, I'll count in. Right, normal. Four and I'm going to count from five. And then after get, when I get to three, I'll stop. But I'll count in my head to, down to one and I'll start speaking on, on, on zero. Yeah? Okay. So, on five, four... Three. I thought I was doing the doing it around my wrists. How? Well, like you see in the, the films and stuff where they, they wrap it round and they're stood there with it wrapped round both. That's just making a skein. Well, can't we do that? No. I don't want a skein, I want a boil. Well, <laughs> That's what I said, I don't see what you're going to film. <laughs> that won't work either. <laughs> All I'm trying to do is get to the dark side, which is in the middle. I'm faster than you. <laughs> Probably not getting any of this in camera shot at all. Probably not, no. Right, hang on then. It doesn't grab as much. No, and there's uh, so seven pounds, some of them. Dead dog. Broken no, dog. Well, flushes come on, man. You can capsize. Let's go. Flushes come on. Yeah. Is it? Mm. Oh, yeah. See, they'll see. Oh, they'll see. So taking a little break from the festivities, we've come out for a little bit of retail therapy. I brought mum to one of the big kind of departmenty kind of stores just outside of town. And then we're going to stop off on the way back and go to Hobbycraft, which is a big kind of chain hobby craft thing. Hey, hello. Hello, what are you doing? Well, following you around. Taking mum on a little bit of a spending spree this morning. Um, she's bought a load more wool for a knitting, a few bits and pieces from the craft shop. Uh, I'm just nipping down to the local shop because we're running a little bit low on bread and a few other little bits and pieces. And just getting into the car, I've just smashed one of my nails off 
Ouch. It doesn't hurt. So, just come into the, the new local cooperative store, our co-op. It's just opened. Just pick up a few bits and pieces and then nip back home again in time for lunch. Because it's only just around the corner. Perfect. Look at that sun, it's very bright this morning. I say this morning, what time is it now? 10 past 12. So it's just gone lunchtime or noon. So, right. So I've managed to get the bits and pieces that we need and a few extras, of course. Um, so now back home in time to do some sandwiches for lunch because Ian is cooking dinner again for everybody tonight. I've done virtually no cooking at all over this Christmas period. Ian also did Christmas Day with a little help but not a lot. So he's done really well this Christmas. Very proud of his cooking this Christmas because he doesn't normally bother he only does it occasionally when I make him. Almost lunchtime on Friday the 29th of December and I've just taken mum and dad back home uh, they wanted to go home before New Year um, so they've got a couple of days to sort everything out and um, put all the presents away and get the house warm back through again uh, and that kind of stuff ready for New Year Plus, Dad needs to pick some of his pills up today as well from, from the doctors, so he'd only brought enough to last him till today. Otherwise, it could have stayed a little bit longer. But, as you see, um, it's snowed like mad overnight everywhere. So, we've had to take it very, very steadily. Very um, sedate drive back so it actually took us a lot longer than it normally does normally it takes us about 40 minutes door to door um, but this time it's taken us an hour and a half to get home because people have been driving very very slow and cautiously in, in the snow and the ice and, and all that kind of stuff so but we don't mind as long as they're home safe and sound and they're now very snug and warm back in their own nest so that's lovely. So I'm now going to just take a very, again, a very, very slow and gentle drive back home. Um, so hopefully I'll be home probably about one o'clock-ish. Um, so I will be able to have some lunch when I get back. I did forgot to mention that. I did forget to mention, forgot to mention, forget to mention, whatever. Anyway. Um, I forgot to say that I did remember to bring my new iPhone car holder um, to stick onto the windscreen so I can carry on doing those lovely kind of um, time-lapsed motorway and road journey bits of film that you all like watching. Um, but unfortunately, this piece of junk isn't worth the money, um, won't or refuses to stick to the windscreen. What a pile of crap. So it's about quarter to one and I'm back and Ian's just made me a hot roast beef and mustard sandwich. Beautiful. Just what I needed. I've just had a mince pie Snow as well. Snow dog. Look. Snow dog. Snow dog. Oh, let's have a look quick. Hang on. It's lovely and white 
But when he gets in the snow, he looks a grubby grey colour. We yeah. put him in the washing yeah. machine. Oh, look. <laughs> to dry his feet before he gets in. Good, man. Last one. Hello, belly balls. Go on, then. So, this afternoon, I think we're going to have a little bit of a tidy up. Put bits and pieces away. We've got a few bits from residue of Christmas left over, like boxes, empty boxes of sweets and that kind of thing. I all want tidying away, throwing away. And then I may go and have a shuffle around in my art room. Who knows what will happen up there? It's facing you. Right, what do you do? Pick up the bottom, camera symbol at the bottom. There isn't one. That's because you're recording. Press stop. What do you want? <coughs> you guarding what? <coughs> what are you guarding? Come show me. Come on. What are you? What are you? Oh. Oh, that's what it is. You guarding? Do you want the roast beef? You guarding the roast beef? <gasps> are you looking? Are you guarding? <coughs> So, a quick walk to the post office in the snow has turned into a family outing. Mr. Bentley wanted to come out and play in the snow. Oh, look at all that! Look, snow that's not been touched. So, we'll take him on. Oh, okay. Not that it makes any difference. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the snow nobody's been walked in yet nobody's been walked in what kind of english is that he likes the snow that no one has walked on virgin snow virgin there's snow. not a lot of virgins in league no virgin on the ridiculous I'd better watch where I'm walking because in all this snow and ice I'm probably going to end end up going mm -hmm. over elbow. So it's Saturday afternoon and I've been playing this morning in my art room while it's been quiet. Ian's been out this morning um, and is now playing in the garage so it's all nice and quiet. Mr Bentley's fast asleep somewhere. And I've been um, experimenting and playing with some leftover um, inks that I have. These are some reinkers for stamp pads that I no longer have. These are old stamping up colours. Um, I gave all my stamping up ink pads to my mother ages ago. Um, I just forgot to give her the reinkers. So I wanted to use those up because they were just sat there gathering dust and taking up space. Um, but also I wanted to experiment and play to see how they would work with plain old kitchen roll or kitchen towel which I have done and as you can see there's some fantastic kind of backgrounds that I've been able to create with some colours and some bleach in this case once they've actually dried uh, and a stencil and I'm actually sat down and just using one of the backgrounds played and created an art journal page in there with just a few stencils and a little bit of paint and that seahorse stamp from indigo blue so i've had a thoroughly enjoyable saturday morning so all i'm going to do now is try and get the video finished edited and uploaded ready to go live for this evening i've had loads of fun <laughs> So it's Sunday, 
December the 31st. It's New Year's Eve, the last day of 2017. So it's been one of those days where we went out first thing this morning to do a few errands. Uh, we went down to a new shop that's just opened not far away from us, which sells all kind of home stuff, you know, like towels and things to put in the kitchen and bathroom and, and also one or two food stuff bits and pieces as well. And did a little bit of shopping in there. And then we came back, had a spot of lunch, and then I've been upstairs getting ready, changing over all of my um, video intros and all that kind of stuff, ready for 2018. And uh, Ian's in the garage, Mr Bentley's ensconced in, uh, in bed upstairs. <clears throat> so we're about to go out on a walk. So it's nearly three o'clock now, it's five to three to be precise. So we're all going to go for a walk up um, together. So we're going to start as we mean to go on, uh, get as much exercise in as we can starting from today, tomorrow, start the new year right. And we're also going to just stop off at uh, our local co-op, which I normally drive to, but it's only five minutes away. So we're gonna just walk up there, take Mr. Bentley with us. The snow's gone, it's all gone, it's all melted, it's all, uh, been raining so all the snow has dissipated and vanished so it's not too bad out there it's not too cold so we're just going to a little wander up to the local shop and um, grab some extra milk and um, I think we've run out of tea bags I don't personally drink a lot of tea but Ian does drink a lot of tea so and um, we're gonna go grab some of those so it's just a, a little niggly little jobs that need to be done but while we're at it we may as well get some exercise too so that's where we're going to head for in a few minutes. Uh, should we get Mr. Boo's coat on then? Yes. Hey! hey. We'll like, get better on Savile Row. It's like Batman's cape. Uh, just put his little leg straps on. One, two, yeah, all comfy. Lovely stuff. Right then, yes, is we ready? Yes, yes we are. I will put his dinner down so it's there when we get back. I've got the shopping bag, you've got the poo bags. Yes, let's go. Noticed. What's that? We've both put rust coloured trousers on today. Well, oh, yeah. that's Wait. a bit of a quinky dink. Wait. So, New Year's Eve. We're not going to be going out anywhere. We're not going to any parties. We're not going to be drinking or anything. We're just going to be having a very quiet night in watching old movies. We have some little party food. Oh yeah, yes. Very just, nice party food just for us. Sensors. Just me and you. Yeah, and puppy. Yes, so we've got some finger food. That's not fingers though. Sorry? That's not real fingers. No, we're not going to be eating pieces of fingers. No. Pieces of finger food, I, you know. I see what I've got to put up with. Strange. They already know I was strange. Anyway, so we're going to have a quiet night in, just watching the old movies on TV. And then that'll be our New Year's Eve, our leap into a new year. So, talking stumble. of New Year, so, pardon? More of a stumble than a leap. Yes, more of a stumble than a leap. So, as far as Wait. the vlogs are concerned, this is week 20, sorry, week 46 or the end of week 46 and as it's falling on the end of the year what I thought I would do is because 
The 1st of January is also Monday. Is it? It is. I'm also going to start off the new year. I'm going to start off back at week one again. Ooh. So it'll be week one of 2018 because then it starts from January the 1st. So with this being week 46, obviously I didn't make a 52 because I started vlogging um, already into the year. So we'll start off 2018 afresh with a brand new look from week one again. So that's going to be it. So we're not too far away from the shop now. So I'm going to sign off. So this will be the last vlog of 2017. Ooh. And I will see you all on the other side. But bearing in mind, they're going to be watching this on Wednesday the 3rd. Oh, well, you've, you already got drunk, sobered up and gone back to work so far. Well, yeah, that's probably true. So, so Happy New Year to you. So Happy New Year to everybody. Whew. I'm out of breath now. Oh, I'm off. <laughs> I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels without whose generosity and support these videos would not be possible. Thank you.